What is going on guys? Kickwing723 here again. Today we're going to be doing the FG, the FG, the FG of my collection. <laughs> uh, don't know why I did that, but yeah. Um, today we're going to be doing the E, the Fs, and the Gs of my collection. Because it takes about two rows of my shelf, and that's about how much I try to do each time I do one of these videos. Give or take. So, without further ado, let us get into the video. Ugh. First CD that we got here. Is probably one of my favorite bands in Deathcore by far. This is Eat a Helicopter with The Pessimist. This is a very fucking great Deathcore EP. Uh, they have two EPs and one uh, album that's seven tracks, which I think quantifies as a full album, but I don't know. Qualifies it, what the fuck ever. But uh, yeah, seriously good Deathcore. Please go check it out. Those guys are insanely fucking talented, and I saw them live one time, and they were also just fucking fantastic live. I'm gonna grab a few CDs at a time here, just make it easier. Next, we have an embalmed demo with three uh, songs off of this album Brutal Delivery of Vengeance. Uh, not bad, just kind of standard death metal from here in Texas. Uh, next, we got Embodied Torment with Liturgy of Ritual Execution. They picked a really bad font for that. But yeah, this is a really fucking great Brutal Death Metal album. Uh, the singer of this band, Matt, cool dude. I've talked to him uh, whenever I saw him live and on Facebook and stuff like that. Cool dude. And also a great fucking band. Uh, next up, we got Embryonic Death with Recurgitated Stream of Rot. This is a compilation of a whole bunch of demos from the early 90s that they had. And I think they only made demos back in the early 90s. And they uh, this company, Pathos Productions... Got it, printed it, and uh, yeah, seriously, great stuff. Once again, for some old school style death metal. Uh, next, we have In Gutter Allment, Cephalo Slamectomy with 812. Uh, I used to really like this album. I don't listen to it as much anymore, but it's still pretty good. Uh, brutal death metal slam shit. Yeah, you guys know what's up. Limited to, I think, 300 copies. Yep, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but I got number 256. Also came with a sticker that I'm just going to keep with the CD. So, yeah. There is lots. Uh, next up, we have Epicardiectomy with... Oh, shit. Abhorrent Stench of Postulma Gastroerectional Desecration. Why do you have to make the name like that? <laughs> Whatever, still really great. Love it. Uh... Oh, fuck. Brain fart there. Epicardiectomy. Um, again, really good. I saw them live, and I got this whenever I saw them live, and they are really fucking good live. So, yeah. Go check them out if you haven't already. They're kind of one of the bigger names in Slam, so if you listen to it, you probably heard about them. Um, next, we got Epicardiectomy with another incredibly hard-to-say title. Putresmal Morphodiplastic Virulency. Sure, let's say that's the name. Uh, once again, really good stuff. Go check it out if you haven't. Then we have... You can just tell I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> I believe it's the name of the first track on here. No, the second track. Repugnant Hemicraniotomical Ingurgitation. Dude, why the fuck? Why the fuck <laughs> do you have to give it such an incredibly lengthy title like that? But whatever. They still make good music, and I'm never going to tell anybody to listen to it except for right now. So there's that. Uh, limited 200, I believe. I got number 120. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. Next up, we got Extremely Wrong, Grotesque Acts of Humanity. Um, again, really good. Slamming Brutal Death Metal album. Kind of hard to find now. I got lucky and found it on eBay for pretty cheaps. But uh, my friends had a hard time trying to find it. So then we have Extremely Wrong, stuff. Uh, zombification of the Masses. I don't know why I almost said Suffocation. Um, yeah, Zombication of the Masses. A true track... EP demo thing that is really fucking good put out by Gorehouse. Listen to it if you haven't already. Uh, next we have The Faceless with Planetary Duality. Really fucking good album. I like the robotic vocal type things that they add throughout this. Makes it sound really freaking cool. Then we have probably my favorite Faceless album and I, I know not a lot of people are going to agree with me on this. They're going to say, oh well the first uh, thing that they released was the best. Nah, this one's my personal favorite. This is The Faceless with uh, Autotheism. The main reason I like this is because I love the dude's cleans. The uh, 
guitarist cleans are fucking incredible, so I'm glad that they they did a lot of it with this album. So there was a lot. Ugh, let me grab the rest of the ones here. Next up, we have Fallujah with Leper Colony. This is put out by Grindhouse, which the band has said isn't an official pressing, but there, this is pretty much the only way you get it. If you can find one of the slipcase versions of it, keep it, because that shit's worth quite a bit. But yeah, definitely my favorite Fallujah thing that they've put out so far. I haven't listened to the new album yet, so without having heard it, this is my personal favorite, because it's the most deathcore out of all of them, and it sounds really great. Then we have Fallujah with the Harvest Wombs. Did I say wombs? Yeah, that's right. Okay, I thought it was wounds for some reason. Uh, yeah, really good again. Uh, technical death metal. Go check it out. And then we have uh, Fallujah with The Flesh Prevails. A really good, like, melodic style death metal, I guess is the best way to put it. Really clean produced. But it still sounds really good. And whenever they played it live, whenever I saw them, it was also fucking great. So, yeah. Definitely an album to check out. Next is probably... It is probably my favorite uh, EP in a slamming brutal death metal because I don't know it's just it just sounds amazing, but this is a female nosebreaker with their promo from 2015. Yeah, that's right. This is insanely fucking good. Oh my god, it is amazing. It's only three tracks, but it is just really <laughs> dropped it. But it is really really good. Put out by Permeate Records, and I love the way they did the disc. It's like kind of glossy and shit. Really cool. Really, really cool. Go check that out, because that is just some incredible, incredible slamming real death metal. Next, this is uh, Fermented Masturbation with Perverted Slamicide. Uh, of course, as you can tell by the name, it's slamming real death metal with some of the members of Cranium in it. Uh, the guys from Cranium, I think, are in like four or five different bands, like the main dudes in it. So, yeah, this is another one of them, and another one that if you like Cranium, you'll like it. Kind of the best way I can put it. Next is a demo from a band called Flesh Warfare. This is a, as you can tell, it's just like a rent on CD. But th yeah, this is a demo, and this is a, uh, a black metal band, if I remember correctly. I haven't listened to them in a w little while, but it was some pretty decent uh, black metal. So uh, yeah, go check it out. I don't know where you can get that CD anymore, but uh, if you can find it, awesome. <laughs> uh, next we have Forest of Impaled with Demon Void. Um, really good, Death Metal, once again, go check it out. Um, and then Forest of Impaled and Forward the Spears, both really fucking great albums, go check them out. Forest of Impaled is insanely good. Alright, next album that we have is some really freaking great grind grindcore. This is From the Ashes with Mind Vortex. This album is 20 tracks long, and I believe it's less than 20 minutes, so that, that gives you a hint. But it is... Really great stuff. Not the best well produced or recorded or whatever, but who cares? It still sounds fucking incredible, and I love that album so much. So, so much. Uh, next, we have Gape with... Uh, oh, yeah, it's just the self-titled. Uh, yeah, really good. This is Slamming Brutal Death Metal from Australia. And, yeah, just once again, really fucking good. Next, we have Genocost with The End of All Things. Another really great Brutal Death Metal album. Again, go check it out. Great stuff. Next, uh, these next two are by the same band, and they are a really fucking great band. But this is Gomagot, Parasitic Incineration. Uh, really good demo EP thing that they did with only three tracks. But really good. Yeah, there's that, and then there's Gomagot with... Eradication of Insignificant Beatings. Beatings? Beings. Duh. Uh, but yeah, really good uh, Brutal Death Metal album. Once again, with a little bit more technical stuff into it, they incorporate a lot of uh, technical uh, bass and guitars into their albums, and that's what I really like about them. Uh, next, you're going to love it or hate it, <laughs> depending. But we have Ghosts with... Shit. Opus... Eponymous, they made it to where you can't read it. I don't listen to this album that much, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, uh, the first Ghost album, pretty good. I don't listen to it as much because I prefer the newer stuff more. Uh, I know, fucking hate me, I don't care. But uh, Elizabeth on here is a really fucking great song. So, yeah. Uh, you probably already listened to it. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Next, we have 
Ghost, if you have Ghost EP, probably my favorite thing that Ghost put out, because I love all the songs on it so, so much, and I know that's, no one is going to agree with me on that, but I don't really care. Uh, next, we got Ghost, Infest Sumum. Again, really great album. Everyone knows Ghost, though, so there's nothing much to say. And then finally, we have Meliora. Again, great. Probably my second favorite thing that they put out. Album is amazing. And I have the new EP, but I only have it digitally. So, yeah, I know Sumi because it was cheaper. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to get the CD and the vinyl of it, hopefully. So, at some point. At some point, though, it's not now. Alright, this one's going to take a bit to unbox. But this is a deluxe edition of Gorilla's Demon Days. Um, I'm sure everyone who's watching has at least listened to a little bit of Gorilla's. This is a little DVD that came with a booklet. And then the case folds out into, like... It, it's really weird. It folds out like that, and then has pictures of all the band members on both sides, or like the band members' characters that they've used. But uh, yeah, really, really good album. I love Gorillaz, and I wish I had more by them. But alas, I do not at the moment, but at some point. And this was pretty cheap. I, got, I think I got it for like six bucks at a half price books. <laughs> Worth it. All right, next we got Gouge with Kick Teeth. This is a great sounding Brutal Death Metal EP. Oh my god, the dude's vocals in this are just like undiscernible and fucking amazing. Uh, yeah, go check this out for sure if you guys haven't yet. It is incredible. It fucking incredible. Next is probably my favorite grand, uh, grindcore album of all time. It is only 11 tracks, and I'm really pissed off this band didn't stay together because this is just insanely good. Insanely good. Oh my god. But this is Grand Toucher with Human Cole. Cole? Cool. Ah, fuck. I don't know how to talk today, I swear. But yeah, every track on this is fucking amazing. I think it comes out to 11 minutes, and there's 11 tracks on it. I wish they had put out more, but alas, they didn't. And this took me forever to find. I think I'd spent about two years looking for the CD until I'd finally found it in one of the CD groups I'm in. So yes, please, please go check this out. It is incredible, incredible grindcore. And I'm probably overselling it, but I'm in love with it, so... <laughs> Uh, next, we have The Gutted, uh, with, I believe, just a promo CD, if I remember correctly. That's pretty good. If you've ever heard of the band Gutted Alive, this is um, their demo before they became Gutted Alive. So, yeah, pretty good stuff. Go check it out. I like the CD, printed on CD and stuff like that. looks pretty cool. And then, finally, we have another great slamming real death metal album that I got from my friend uh, Todd at uh, Brutal Gear. So, once again, go check out his store. Cool stuff. But this is The Gertrick Tree with sadistic reflections of blood this is a very fucking good slamming real death metal album and i don't know if they put out much more than this album i don't know for sure to be quite honest but it is really fucking good and uh yeah once again like everything else go check it out <coughs> all right so that was it for this video almost it get to it in a second but uh I'm, I'm going to take out the intro or the outro thing of me talking right now because I'm just kind of tired of putting it in there and it doesn't sound that great. So uh, if you like the music here at the beginning or the end, go check out the band Cunt Cuntly. I'm going to be saying that at the end of these videos from now on like that. Um, yeah. I'm zoned out for a second. I don't know what the fuck happened there. But uh, yeah, so at the end of this video, uh, for some of you guys who do or do not know, I'm in a, uh, I do the RTVB program at one of the colleges over by my, uh, by my house. And so, one of the things that we did recently is we just had to make, like, a little podcast thing or whatever that had to only be, like, a minute and a half long and uh, just talk about something. So, I did a review of uh, the Gate Creeper track, Desperation, and so I'm going to put that at the end of this video, and if you want to watch it, cool. If not, you're not going to hurt me at all. Just figured I'd put it up there. Tell me, guys, I w the main thing, that was, it was an audio project, so there's not any video with it, so I'm just going to put, like, the Gate Creeper logo or something above it. But, uh, yeah, if you guys like it... Uh, just let me know. If not, then whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it awesome. Hey guys, what's going on? Kickling723, the intergalactic metalhead, here today with a track review on the new Gate Creeper song, Desperation, off their upcoming album, Sonoran Deprivation. Gate Creeper is a five piece old school style death metal band from Arizona. They play a very groove heavy style of death metal with hints of doom and crust punch sprinkled in throughout the track. This track comes out of the gate swinging with heavy chugs and low growls. These growls, however, don't sound like your standard death metal growls. They have their own bit of flourish to them. The whole song itself is quite catchy with a very groove-heavy guitar track and big thrash metal influence when it comes to the drums with its repetitive fast beat pattern. 
About midway through the song, there's a melodic section that hits, giving the song a bit of an upbeat sound for a short period of time, before going back to its very heavy guitar chugs. When it comes to the recording style, they did what is personally my favorite type of recording and mastering. They did a great mix that manages to keep the rawness of the instrument, yet still having a good sound, not sounding like it was recorded in a Pringle can with a $5 rock band mic. I hope you all enjoyed this short track view and the song. I will see you guys in the next video. Keep it metal.